Hi everybody, Susie Plum here. Happy Halloween! Uh, I thought I'd make a quick update. Uh, this is Jing. Uh, if you remember the last video when I got Jing, I said I would have him done for Halloween and I'm pushing it this Halloween evening and it's getting dark and I wanted to do this before the kids come around. And uh, I spent all day on this guy. Uh, apart from two hours when I was given an art class around lunchtime. And even then, I, it was hard to get rid of the class so I could get back to this. Uh, but I was determined to get him finished. And the color is a bit washed out. He, he's, uh, I guess I'm going through a green stage. And uh, he has plum at the sides. And the eyes are temporary. Uh, he has lemon jelly eyes in on his regular eye sockets. Uh, there's a Swarovski crystal in the middle. And the other two are lemon jelly eyes, but they're not for him. I just put them in the meantime. And there's his wig. See, still can't get the hang of this camera angle. There's his wig, and I'll show you his outfit real quick. Uh, the hand, okay, the hand, I've been struggling for the last hour with the hands. I had gotten, if you remember, the long fingered, long nailed hands with the intention of giving them to Jing. Man! That frustration tag that's going around, if you'd have seen me like an hour ago, there was hands flying across my bedroom. There was, oh my goodness, frustration, steam coming out of my ears. Yeah, it wasn't good. But those big hands, those big clawed hands were just way too big. And, uh... I need a bigger doll for that, and this body is 68 centimeters, so I guess those hands were meant for the 75 centimeter doll. So this, this little clawed hand was one that I got, I think, I was sent those Pretty sure it was the girl that uh, I bought the Bobobi Apollo. She had sent me, uh, pretty sure they came with that doll. And they're a good size for this. I, they just need blushed and uh, they're just not matching. That's not a problem. I can do that. The other, um, you can see better pictures, I guess, of him on Instagram. The other one I wanted to show you guys, hang on. was a doll that I got last week. I didn't do an unboxing. Doll Chateau. 70 centimeter. I got a steel. The only thing is, I don't know a sculpt. He is a legit doll. Maybe any of you can recognize this sculpt. Please let me know because the owner had no clue and for a moment I thought it was Mephisto but I have Mephisto and it's it's not uh, I don't know let's see here if you guys can recognize that sculpt please let me know um, I might sell the head I really wanted the body But um, I have him in a nice little pair of jeans I got of AliExpress. And I am making some clothes for him. And this little cashmere jacket is beautiful. Um, it doesn't fit anybody else. He claimed it. Looks good on him. So he got it.
I just, I need to know a sculpt. Somebody let me know. Okay, and the other, hang on, the other person I wanted you to see was my vulture. His head is on. Uh, I just have to prime his head cap and paint him. And I think he looks awesome. Even on that dark skin, I think he looks, I think he looks, I'm really pleased with him, I have to say. I've got another head started. I won't say any more than that until I get a bit more done to it. But I really am liking him. I have a white body uh, in the other room, and I might try it on that. But I, I like these Bobobi Apollo bodies. They compose. They're solid as a rock. Like, um... Sarah uh, Swans says, I mean, they are. You just put them into position and they stay there. I love them, you know. But that's it. Uh, I really wanted to wish you guys a happy Halloween. I don't have any kids, but there are plenty of kids in the neighborhood. And no doubt it's starting to get dark. No doubt they will be around for some candy. So meantime, if you're going out with the kids, take care. Be careful. Be safe. Have a wonderful Halloween evening. And uh, I want to see all your guys' videos and what you've been up to. Oh, there was one thing I wanted to say. Uh, it's kind of a pet peeve. And... I'm trying to get out of the habit of it when I'm on Instagram or on Facebook or here and if someone makes a video and goes to the trouble of doing a doll or change it or whatever, they're entertaining you. They're putting it up for your benefit instead of liking or, you know, the thumbs up or the heart or whatever it is, the little symbol. It's so easy to hit one of those. It's so much better when you actually write something. It shows that you're making an effort, that you appreciate the effort that they have made. And I say this from uh, mostly my Facebook, because I really haven't been on Instagram very long, but Instagram as well, that you want to hear people's opinions. I mean, I know the like, but the thumbs up says like, but that could mean that you're just too, as Rich Luck says, I too booked to be bothered. You know, it could just mean, yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, well done. Opinions matter. People matter. So take 30 seconds and leave your opinion. I mean, it doesn't have to be shining. Just it's enough. A couple of words is enough to let the person know that, hey, you're worth my time. That's it. Um, I try to. I'm going to try to more. I, I am guilty of it as everybody else I am going to make uh, a huge effort not to do that. So, as I was saying, happy Halloween. Be safe. Love you guys. Get the videos up. Can't wait to see more of you. And talk soon. Love you. Bye.